Hi everyone, I'm going to show you some wax melts I recently, oh, I can't even talk, recently purchased. I have my um, Invisalign retainers that I wear at night. I have them in because it's nighttime and I'm like done eating and drinking. So I'm sorry if I have a lisp. I don't wear these all the time anymore. You know, I only wear them at night, so um, I'm not used to them being in my mouth. And I have a lisp again when I talk. Okay, I'm going to show you some wax melts that I recently got from Walmart. These are like the holiday Christmas ones. And then there's two I picked up, um, two of the same scent at my local Menards that sells Tuscany scents. Um, I went back there to look for like fall ones and they didn't have very many left so that was disappointing. But um, let's get into it. I'll just show you really quickly. I have seen a lot more scents than this and I haven't smelled everything um, because they don't have a lot of organization right now at my Walmart as far as like the new scents are coming in. Normally they're all in one section. That's not the case this time. It's just disorganized with like between uh, like seasonal stuff like Thanksgiving. Um, things were in the Thanksgiving aisle instead of the wax aisle. Same with like um, ha uh, Halloween and same with Christmas. So it's just it's just weird. It's not all in like one area. So I don't know what I'm missing out on. If there's a good scent that you recommend, definitely comment down below and let me know. But these are the ones that I saw that I decided that I wanted to try. Um, I've been really into vendor wax, and so I really don't need anything else. So unless you know it's super strong and you highly recommend it, um, yeah, I probably won't get it. <laughs> Just saying. So let's get into it. I picked up one mainstays. This is in Spiced Orange. This is not really a scent that I would gravitate toward, but I just randomly grabbed it and opened it. I really like it. It's so strange because it kind of smells like Dayquil, like the orange Dayquil. But that's like, it's not what I first get. It's like after I think about it for a second, like an undertone of it. And and that grosses me out because I don't like the Dayquil. But I don't want to discourage you because this is actually really nice. I'm not a huge orange scent fan. But, oh, there's something, it's like, it smells like candy-like or like something I could drink. I don't know. I can't wait to melt this one. I want to melt it soon. It doesn't really, it's like a little bit holiday-like to me, but, um, not really. Uh, well, yeah, it's like as holiday-ish as like a, a orange with cinnamon could be. Um, so yeah, I'll set that to the side. That one's like 98 cents, so like how can you go wrong? I don't know. I've had pretty good success with those mainstays. They've been pretty strong for me. And then I have two of these Tuscany melts that I also purchased that I got at Walmart. These I got at Menards. I'll just show you really quickly. This is Wine and Roses. Um, this one smells... Okay, so Tuscany melts to me have this like fake waxy undertone, but if I completely ignore that, um, because I don't really get that when I melt it, um... It's just on cold. But this is a really nice combination. Like, it smells like a combination of, like, it's not like a, like a Cabernet or a typical very dry red wine. It's more of, like, a red dessert wine. If you have had red dessert wine, you would like this. I love dessert wine. It is exactly what I would imagine red wine should taste like instead of what red wine usually actually tastes like. And then there is like rose in it, but it's kind of like red dessert wine, champagne notes, um, like that bubbliness a little bit, and then rose. I, I really like it. I'm hoping it doesn't smell. I'm hoping it smells just like that when it melts and not like doesn't change the way that it smells. All right, let's get into like the Better Homes and Gardens. I got two of the Cranberry Cookie Crumble. Everyone's talking about this one. This is like the favorite of the line that came out. Um, and I get it. It smells really good. And, you know, people say that it smells like cranberry pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. I think I bought just one, maybe two of them last year. It wasn't my favorite. I really wanted to like it, but it just, it got, I burned it in my kitchen. It got lost. And it was really just a cranberry scent to me. I didn't get a lot of bakery. I didn't get like it was slight bakery, but I didn't get a specific, like, 
pumpkin scent from it. So it kind of failed for me where everybody else liked it. This one specifically has like a bakery cookie scent to it. Like I feel like I'm smelling the actual cranberry cookies. Like it smells really good. And I've heard that it's really strong. So I am excited for that. I cannot tell you why my camera does not want to focus. Like I don't ever have this problem until I do videos in this view. So I'm sorry. I'm going to keep trying to like, if I touch my screen, it will like refocus it. But this is a wonderful winter. Um, this one is so good to me. This is a minty scent. This is like a subtle peppermint. It almost is like two mints, like, like cinnamon and peppermint mixed together, but very subdued. The cinnamon being like barely noticeable. Cinnamon as in red hot cinnamon too, which I'm not a fan of, but in this one I really like it. It... It smells like sweater weather mixed with like some subdued peppermint and very subdued cinnamon, but I really like it. If you're a fan of um, sweater weather, you'd probably like this one. Or sweater weather or minty scents, you'd probably like this one. And then this one is what people are saying is an actual dupe of sweater weather. And while I get that, it does smell very close to it. There's something a little bit different about this one to me. It's like sweater weather is nighttime scent. Or there's something like aquatic, slightly aquatic, watery, or like men's cologne to me. This is like man cologne mixed with sweater weather. Or like a nighttime version. Like sweater weather is the daytime version. This is the nighttime version of sweater weather. There's just something a little bit more to this one. And I really like it. So, after I, these are probably going to be repurchases for me. I like those, like, cool, minty type scents. This is Christmas Morning Latte. I got this based off of um, Terry from the Scented Retail Wax Melt group that does the ScentedWaxReviews.com, or I don't know if it's .com. Scented Wax Reviews. She's got a YouTube channel and everything. You should check her out. I'll try and link her below. She said that she really liked this one and that it was strong. I have heard some people say that they think it's disgusting. So we'll see. It doesn't smell like a latte to me. It's kind of like frothy. Like pumpkin latte with froth a little bit. I don't know. I'll have to melt it. But I'm hoping that there's more of like a mocha latte type scent to it maybe with whipped cream and not so much pumpkin just because I have a lot of pumpkin scents because I went pumpkin crazy but um it does smell like it's going to be strong and then the last one is also one that's controversial season of joy I I don't I don't know people are saying this smells like pepper is that what they're saying pepper I smelled this one for a while and tried to get pepper I can see how someone would smell pepper. I wonder if when I melt it, it's going to smell more like pepper. And I almost wish that I hadn't heard pepper because now I feel like I'm going to be looking for it, if you know what I mean. This was just like a strange, slightly fruity, perfumey scent to me. And now I, <laughs> and I liked it and now I smell pepper. So um, we'll see how that one does. Season of Joy. It's kind of like a light, berry-scented, feminine, perfumey type scent. It's not Christmassy. Yet there's something Christmassy about it to me. But, like, I could see them putting this out in, like, the spring or summer or fall and me being like, oh, that's a pretty perfume scent. But if it does smell like pepper when it's burning or melting, then yuck. Glad I just got one. That's it, you guys. That's all I picked out from the stores. Um, again, let me know what you think I need to get or try. Thumbs up this video if you liked it or you enjoy these types of videos. Um, subscribe if you haven't. You know, comment and do all that stuff. And it's good to see you guys and it will be good to hear from you guys. And I'm sorry again for my lisp. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.